Hello, everyone. I'm Stan Miller. I'm the PR and Analyst Relations Manager for Rockwell Automation in the EMEA region. Welcome to the Rock Studio. I'm joined here today by two guests. Uh, first, Victoria Elias. She is the Global Director of the Low Voltage Motor Control Center business for Rockwell Automation. And I'm also joined by Jester Fristrup. He is the Director of Cubic. Welcome to the studio, guys. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. Thank you very much. So, the Ac Rockwell Automation's acquisition of Cubic has generated a ton of excitement, a lot of buzz. So we're really interested in learning more about what this relationship means and what's going to happen moving forward. So let's just get started with the questions. Uh, start first question for you, Jesper. Could you just give us some background on what Cubic is all about, what it does, and, and the vision behind the company? Of course. The Cubic is a Danish company founded back in 1973. Is we are based on a unique idea for a modular system for the construction of any type of low voltage uh, control, motor control centers. At the core of our business is the modular system that from a very few standard parts, you are able to design any type of low voltage motor control, control center. You see, what we stand, stand for and stand out in the market space for is our product concept. It's the modularity of our modular system. It's our partnering model. It's uh, our high quality. It's our trustworthiness, it's our test and certificates we have done throughout the years, and then it's our technical expertise. Excellent. Thank you for that grounding. So next question uh, so for, for you, Victoria, is uh, how did the relationship between Cubic and Rockwell Automation get started? How did it develop and, and why did Rockwell want to acquire Cubic? Yeah, no, that's a great question, Stan. Um, so our relationship actually started, um, I'll say pre-COVID, back at the later point of 2019. At that point, we were looking at putting together a strategy in terms of how to win in the IEC MCC space. Um, we looked at all different models. We looked at partnering. We looked at acquisitions. Um, and in the end, um, we decided to select Cubic, and we, and we chose them for a number of reasons. You know, first of all, when you look at their offering, as Jesper had talked about, you know, they're really viewed as the best of the best. Their modular structure is incredibly valuable for us and allows us to really develop innovative solutions that our customers have been longing for. They also have an unparalleled partner model. Um, that will really allow us to um, successfully enter um, into markets like Asia, Europe, and Latin America more successfully. And um, finally, you know, if I would say the third point, it's about the culture. Um, Cubic has such a strong culture and very similar to Rockwell Automation. When you look at what they're, you know, founded on in terms of strong culture of integrity and ethics and also being extremely customer obsessed, very similar to Rockwell Automation. So I guess those are the reasons in terms of how we started out the relationship and, um, you know, ultimately why we selected Cubic. That's great context to have. And maybe just kind of continuing along that thread, maybe you could both speak to why this partnership is, is so ideal. Why, why it fits so well together. Um, and maybe, Victoria, you start with that. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, you know, if I look at just this acquisition and just put simply, um, you know, this acquisition really strengthens um, our portfolio of IEC motor control centers. Um, you know, the cubic flexible modular, um, you know, really, you know, coupled with our Rockwell's intelligent devices, um, just provides um, really faster time to market in terms of new solutions. Um, it provides a really nice framework for our next gen um, IEC motor control center that will enable us to be more competitive um, in the market space. Um, and as I mentioned previously, you know, when you look at the partner model, um, you know, this will enable us to really expand our Rockwell network into regions in Asia and Europe and Latin America, um, where in this particular segment, um, we've been challenged over the years. That's great. And yes, but maybe from your side, um, give us some context as well about, uh, you know, why the partnership is so ideal. But it, it really is. It's fantastic uh, from our side. First of all, um, we'll be able to grow our business, our exist existing business. Secondly, we'll be able to grow together with Rockwell, uh, a different uh, second side of, of our business that is very, very low at, at the moment. And then you've already said it very well, Victoria, the cultural alignment between the two companies is kind of second to none. We've never met a company that is that much like us from a, from a starting point. 
So that calls out for a very, very good uh, co uh, cooperation going forward. And then I would say at the end, us being able to move forward on digitalization as one point, and then on, on sustainable solutions going forward. It's a, really a, a, a second aspect as well. Guys, this is a great discussion, so I just want to keep it going. Uh, let's talk about the vision, the future vision driving the collaboration. When you guys take a look at, you know, down the next few years, I and mean, what, what does that look like? Um, and again, maybe, Victoria, if I could ask you to answer first. Yeah, so, you know, when I look at our vision um, in terms of the future, you know, I, I always sum it up really simply in terms of saying that we are just truly better together. Um, we take the best of um, both companies and we're able to develop some really innovative solutions for our customers. So when you look at, you know, just the technical expertise that Cubic brings um, in terms of structural design as well as all the IEC standards and combine that with the power, you know, components, some um, technology and expertise that Rockwell has, um, you know, it's really exciting to be just on the forefront of this partnership and really just, um, you know, putting together the future that we have together and, um, you know, all the new innovative solutions that we can deliver. That's great. Jesper, anything that you'd like to add on that? Yeah, but Victoria always said, we are better together. It's a really a, a cooperation going forward that will enable us to add, tap into new business segments, new businesses from an overall perspective, and really grow our two companies together. That's great. So Jesper, let me ask you, you know, could you help us, on our audience, understand what the value of this modular cabinet solution uh, means to Rockwell customers? Help us understand that. Sure. I'll be pleased to do so. First of all, as I said, we have a modular concept. Uh, from a very few basic parts, you'll be able to design any type of low voltage smart control center. It's very easy. We have the design tool that you'll be able to design the, uh, your configuration in. It almost uh, adopts any demands from the end users. Then the flexibility. It's really at the core of our business as well, that you're able to, again, design any type of solution. We have tested and certified our modular system uh, to maybe a, uh, around a, a thousand tests or so. So it's, it's very, very good. And then we have our redrawable solution that very fits very well into the MCC solution that Rockwell is, is looking for. Great. Guys, M Victoria, maybe if I could just switch over to you for a second. What does the, the partnership between Cubic and Rockwell Automation enable? Uh, what new capabilities can Rockwell Automation customers expect? Yeah, and I guess if I were to simplify that, I would say there's, you know, two different areas, right? Um, you know, it offers um, the relationship, really just offers enhanced expertise, right, and knowledge. When I talk about the structural design, I talk about the IEC standards. Um, you know, so our customers, when you start thinking about in terms of what they can expect, they can expect um, faster time to market in terms of new competitive designs in the IEC Motor Control Center space. Great. Maybe another question, like, let's talk about market access. In what way does this improve market access in the renewable energy and data center solutions? And what might be the implications for, for end users? Yeah, so Cubic really brings, um, when you look at their customer base, um, they, they bring to Rockwell Automation um, an awful lot of new customers in both the hybrid and the process space. And um, specifically, you know, when you look at customers focused on, you know, renewable energies and data center, you know, key areas, you know, of growth for Rockwell Automation. All right, great. Uh, well, maybe one last question, and it's just, you know, for folks in the audience who are listening to you guys kind of explain the value of this, this new relationship uh, moving forward, uh, where can they get more insight? What should be their next step? Would, what, would be, what would you recommend? Yeah, that's a great question. So, um, you know, my advice would be go out to rockwellautomation.com. Um, lots of information on our website in regards to this new acquisition and all the new value and benefits that we're going to be able to bring collectively um, to our customers. Um, so that'd be the first stop. And then secondly, I would say contact your local account manager who will also be able to help serve you and guide you in the right direction. Thank you both for your time. It's been a great discussion. Like we said, so much opportunity uh, and so much excitement around this news. Thank you for joining us in the Rock Studios. Uh, for, as Victoria mentioned, for 
additional information, please check out rockwallautomation.com. Thanks for watching.